Hello everyone, my name is Aisha, Analytics Engineer at SIP. In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to share about histogram. Histogram can be used to identify statistical distributions, vibrate one signal off of another, or summarize a signal in specific periods of interest. It enables users to aggregate statistics by value, condition, or time. Aggregation by value is when you aggregate one signal with respect to itself or another signal. Here I have the temperature distribution aggregated by the temperature value itself and bin size of 10 degree Fahrenheit. Next is aggregation by condition. If you have properties associated with a condition, you can aggregate the signal within the condition created. For example, here, I have my batch ID properties attached to a condition, so I can aggregate my temperature distribution by batch ID. Finally, is aggregation by time, where you can aggregate the selected signal within specific periods of time. In the example here, the temperature distribution is aggregated by day of the week. Here, I want to show you how we can create a distribution of temperature values by each day of the week. Just go to Quantify, click on the histogram tool. Fill in the name, temperature distribution by day of the week. Select your temperature signal. The statistic will be count and the aggregation type will be time to bin the values by day of the week. For aggregation by time and condition, you will need to select which capsules to include in the aggregation. The default will be intersect, but there are different options to be choose from. This graphic here shows how does the option varies. This is your condition and this is your display range. Intersect will only consider data from the capsules that intersect with the display range only. If you choose Enclose, it will only consider complete capsules within the display range. If you choose Overlap, it will consider the whole capsules as long as a portion of it is within the display range. Start option will consider all capsules that start within the display range and end option will consider all capsules that end within the display range. After choosing the appropriate option for your histogram, you can click execute and you will see a distribution of your temperature values by day of the week. You can also add another grouping for your histogram. Let's say I want to further bin my histogram by values. You can edit your histogram, add additional grouping using the temperature signal, and a bin size of 10 degrees Celsius. The min and max values will be auto-populated based on the data in display range, but you can edit as desired. Click Execute, and now you will see your histogram are now based on the day of the week and the temperature values. You can stack the data by clicking on the Customize button. And for multiple groupings, you can specify color for each group by clicking on the legend here. We have seen how we can use the value and time to aggregate our statistic. If you have properties assigned to condition, for example, the batch ID, you can use aggregate by condition to create histogram that represents the data for each batch ID. For example, here, I created histogram to show the average temperature for each batch ID. Or you can also utilize our chart view in condition tables to create different type of charts easily. You can learn more about this in the condition tables video.